All right, everybody, welcome back to our weather part of the news. And Joe and Daryl, mm. yes. I think that we're going to see even colder temperatures tonight. No, you're so not. Yeah. How do you yeah. guys feel you about that? No, it was pretty chilly mistake. today. It was. But it's not too bad yet. I mean, we're still hoping. Could be worse. To, it could be. Mm -hmm. you're so right. you're let's right. take you're a right. look at the almanac and see what we have right now. 21 degrees currently high for today. The low was 5 degrees, record high 51, set in 2013, just last year, Joe. Do you remember that? Actually, I tend to forget <laughs> those bad memories. 51, that's good. Oh. All right, 17 below was set in 1953. The sun rose this morning at 927 a.m. and will set, or has set, at 543 p.m. That gives us 8 hours and 17 minutes, a loss of 6 minutes from yesterday. Okay, taking a look at the Alaska satellite. As you can see, most of the action is going on into the western part of Fairbanks, or excuse me, of Alaska. Over Fairbanks, there's not much precipitation-wise, but you can see Juneau and Ketchikan still do have rain showers. We'll look at that later. And Anchorage can also expect some precipitation today and tomorrow as well. Okay, current conditions are up on your screen. Let's start over with Juneau and Ketchikan. They just can't get away from the rain. 40s for them. Go back up to Fairbanks. It was a mostly cloudy day today. Um, Fairbanks had a temperature of 17 degrees. Up in Barrow, 24 degrees. Not too bad. Warmer in Barrow than it was in Fairbanks. That's pretty cool. Okay, so over to the west side. Nome, 32 degrees. Bethel, 35. And Cold Bay, you can see they are actually having a mixture of rain and snow right now, and that's going to continue into tomorrow. Let's take a look down at the lower 48. Okay, the Pacific Northwest, they are getting some rain there, okay, and still Seattle under rain. <laughs> uh, 71 degrees in San Francisco, 78 in Vegas, 88 in Phoenix. Look at that, just blaring sunshine over there. Let's take a look at, over at New Orleans. It looks like they're getting some uh, thunderstorm activity, um, but Miami has 86 degrees, mostly sunny skies, and up in New York, uh, you can tell those guys are just under rain today. Okay. Let's take a look at that system going through over the northeast part of our country. As you can tell, it looks like it just spans all the way down into New Orleans. New Orleans are getting some pretty severe thunderstorms there. And uh, we'll take a look back at Alaska now. Scattered snow showers for Barrow. Up to two inches of snow for Nome and decreasing clouds in Fort Yukon. All right, 12 degrees in Fort Yukon, 21 in Barrow, and 29 in Nome. Okay, let's move on into interior Alaska. We're not going to have any precipitation, like I said, but we're going to be in the teens for highs tomorrow. Partly cloudy across the region for there. Okay, let's take a look over at uh, Juneau and Ketchikan. It just continues for them. Periods of rain for Juneau and Ketchikan. No snow because their temperatures are still pretty warm, 45 and 50 in Ketchikan. Okay, over to the southwest. Rain for Kodiak, mixed rain and snow for Bethel and Cold Bay. Temperatures there ranging from 21 to 38 degrees. Not too bad. All right. Take a look at the uh, South Central. Clouds in Homer and Anchorage. Isolated rain and snow in Valdez. So as Mike likes to say, a mixed bag of weather. All right, let's take a look at our kids' weather watch. Our fact, 1989 storm in western U.S. produced 10 to 20 inches of snow. That's a lot for those guys. Okay, thanks, for Mount, thanks to Mount McKinley Bank for sponsoring. Mike Schultz will be back here shortly. And all this week and next, we will share unique and interesting weather facts with you. Tonight, here it is, 10 below. Mostly clear, but yeah, just uh, get ready to plug those vehicles in, guys, because it's definitely going to start cooling down. That's a range. It's 10 below to zero, so, you know, it could be en coming anywhere there, but time to start plugging in the cars, I think. All right, for tomorrow, we're going to be in the teens, 18 degrees, mostly clear skies, but definitely more cool. And as you can tell, the, the uh, oh, negative oh. temperatures continue oh. into this week, but it might, you know, taper off for um, Halloween, maybe, if we're lucky. I don't know. <laughs> 